privilege to be able to interview now, interview you. Um, on behalf of Chulita Moments, we're very grateful for you to taking the lead and being uh, the front face for this interview one for the month of, of March. Uh, you have an outgoing personality and you are just welcoming us to highlight women for the month of March. Tell us about yourself, about um, the historical reign that you have been having through the pandemic. Share with us the activities where you've been participating as our long as you're in the uh, Good morning, Ms. Nayeli. Um, it's my pleasure to be here. It's my pleasure as well to be of help and volunteer around the community and be, be there. Um, well, like you said, my name is Vanessa Salazar. I am 20 years old. I was 18 years old when I first got brown as Senorita Flor de la Feria. There since, I've been in different projects around the community. I even joined Rotorac Club of Benque Viejo. Um, I participated in a back to school drive. Recently, my most recent volunteer work as Senorita Flor de la Feria was a uh, food drive that I did for Christmas where I went outside in the community sharing a little bit of play, uh, plate of food with everyone around to celebrate with them, to make their Christmas a little bit happier. It's something I've done. Um, as well, currently I have another title as besides Flor de la Feria. I have Miss Benke which is the same as Queen of the Bay, Benke Viejo, okay. which I recently gained this past year, where I was elected to go represent our beautiful town at the National Pageant of Queen of the Bay. I was also um, the first representative to as Queen of the Bay, Benke Viejo, to go there and represent our community. Although we had had another girl, Miss Carmelita Lara, being a Kenya, being there, she represented the Kiowas. So therefore, I was the first representative of the Bay at the National Pageant. Excellent. I was going to grace and beauty. You represented us very well. Thank you. So tell me, what does Vanessa do on her free time? What are the community projects that you have joined or advise um, girls and boys? You as a beauty ambassador, how to engage in a community? Um, currently, what I do during my free time is volunteer work. Like I said, I'm part of the Rotary Club of Benito Viejo and normally we're very active. Like this past Sunday, we went to install the, we joined Rotary Satellite and went to, to um, put on the bio barrier at the entrance of the gate. Yes. That's something that we, we normally encourage everyone to be there to help in keeping our community clean. And doing so, we normally invite people from outside as well to join us in different activities that we host around the community. Um, My advice for the girls would be to never let anyone tell you that you're not enough. That you cannot do, you cannot stand on a stage, you cannot be outside there. Because that's not the reality. If you put your if you set your mind to it, you can do it. It always takes you to be the first person to believe in yourself in order to get out there and be part of the community. And it always starts by joining a group and being attentive of what is going outside in a community, the different events, the different opportunities. For instance, right now, there are a lot of opportunities you can join, like joining the Rotorac Club of Benke Viejo, helping in the House of Culture, volunteering in the House of Culture, um, 
being part in other events, like for instance, at the moment, La Semana Santa, we're having this event where everyone is invited to join and volunteer. As well, um, there are different opportunities being given outside as learning different languages. And right now, we have the Mandarin program that is occurring at the Mopan Technical High School where everyone is invited to join and learn a new language. Vanessa, uh, how do you feel when you go outside the community to represent us? And how does Vanessa, the girl, um, feel whenever you are out there as a beauty ambassador for our uh, commission with, with our girls? You need to keep empowering our girls. And the message you shared with them is one of the most important stages of a girl that she needs to believe in herself first because nobody can tell you if you're wrong or right. Start with yourself and building yourself. So how do you feel whenever you go out and present us? Um... For me, I I feel great. Honestly, I feel like I can conquer the world once I put on that sash, I put on that crown. I feel like a different person. I can do anything and like everything that I set my mind to. Because at some point, I was told that I was not good enough. I, I was not, because of my height, because of my weight and my body, they said that I was not that image, that the stereotypes that I didn't, I was not that girl that could be a queen. I was not that girl that could represent our community. But that is why I tell every little girl outside there to believe in yourselves. Because if not believing in yourself, it's not going to take you anywhere. And for me, every time that I walk um, during the parades, I'm walking with everyone else, I see a little girl smile and that makes me so happy because I know that I'm inspiring someone. I know that that little girl someday would want to be like me. And that's the reason why I try to be the best version of myself when I'm, not, and the, when I'm wearing the crown and when I'm not wearing the crown. Because I know that they are the ones that are looking up to me and someday would want to be me. That's that is very powerful because in the world of today we're immersed into the critiques of the outside world and social media can be so harsh and it's something that can damage our girls. Not having the best physique doesn't define your intelligence and your emotions. Um, it's, it's very powerful that you're sharing this insight because most girls can be damaged by that. And this era is, is basically something that we need to work on, on how to empower our young girls. And your message is... One of the best things to do that when they tell you, they want to shame you or tell you something like that, is to always turn that into the positive. Always look for a way to prove that people wrong to them. Once you're there, you learn that there's no need for you to be put ashamed or anything because just like you, anyone else can stand in your place. Anyone can be a queen if they set their mind to it. You are already born a queen, that's emotional yes. intelligence. And when they throw you stones, you build bridges and you build, build anything that's against you. Um, For Chilito Movies, you know, it's, it's quite an honor for us to showcase this insight that you have shared with us. Um, how do you feel being the face of Chilito Movies now? I, I wish that we will be able to compensate both of you for the arduous work that you're doing. Truly, it's a commitment. You know, you, you are there um, with no best interest on, on, on looking for anything. Both of you give your, your time selflessly to, to the community. Um, Truly the Movement has a lot of followers. Um, I've been getting some calls, you know, of Channel 5, so we know that the, the outside world is looking at it. And, and we've gotten some opportunities to showcase these um, stories. It's inspiring also because we women sometimes face 
challenges and doubts. And by looking at other women and their special stories, we get to learn about them and we try to emulate them and, and try to build in ourselves. So, um, how do you feel and, and how has the challenge been? Well, from being the interviewee to going to the interviewer, it has been a great change. The first, the, the first interview I made was with you and I felt nervous. It was a different kind of nervous because I normally don't get that nervous in front of a camera. It was an exciting experience, definitely. It's something that I would invite anyone to try. It's something that is going to give you a plus if you go outside the community. So yeah, it's it's a great experience. And um, I also want to share that you know it's, it's most mostly men who interview or mostly men sometimes who are the face of of the camera media and everything. So by this angle, we're breaking the bias, and which is also the the gender equity for a sustainable tomorrow so i think this is well balanced um this is an awesome opportunity and we're very grateful for you to be joining chonita movies as we entertain educate exactly it is an honor to be here it's an honor to be able to provide a little bit of entertainment for our community and not just for our community but the country of the least because a lot of people around the country see movies yes so i i any last words for, for the girls and the women out there? Well, I would want to highlight a little bit of the women that have helped me during my reign, which has been my trainer, Miss Elisa Flowers. She has been a very, very good woman to me. She has been there when I most needed her. And she is a businesswoman, so she's a woman that you could um, you could find when you need any any decorations, she's the woman to go. She's the owner of Creative Ship. Also, Miss Leticia Guerra, who is the owner of Casa Leticia. She's someone who has been helping the community as well, and she always encourages other girls. Um, Saiba by Ronelli, Miss Ronelli Merkena, the owner of Saiba, Saiba by Ronelli. She is a woman that is has been a past queen and always encourages other girls to keep on being the best version of themselves. Also, um, Miss Aramilda Redondo, the owner of Arbella's Boutique, because she believed in me and was someone who sponsored me and was there for me when I most needed her as well. That would be some of the girls, uh, some of the women that have been there for me.